Two weeks ago, I came across what can only be described as my best thrift find ever. These just come in. Is that Kanye? Yeah, it's his brand. $1,200 on lunch. $1,200? These are the best, stash. Yeah, you have. You've got the best. We did the maths on all of it, and in pre-owned condition, the resale value on all of this stuff is 1200 bucks. And as you can imagine, I was hyped. I was that excited. It was $1,200 worth of goods after looking into all of the detail and I put the YouTube video up only to be slammed by a lot of the guys in the comments saying that it was fake, not genuine, and not something I should be hyped about. Which means today's a pretty important day. We're gonna get all of these clothing items authenticated and find out whether or not they actually are genuine or whether or not they're just a bunch of fake items that I wasted $230 on. If you missed that episode, here's a look at the goods. We've got a Supreme sweater, a Mad Happy sweater. This one here was awesome. Astro World Travis Scott track pants, some Supreme Champion track pants, and then we've also got a Sunday service Kanye sweater as well as an Acne Studios hoodie. I've made it to the worst part of the Gold Coast, Surfers Paradise. But I'm here for a very good reason. We're here to see Sylvia. Now, Sylvia runs a consignment business called Edit and Refresh. She's had it for 14 years. This lady knows a thing or two about high-end goods. Now, I'm gonna walk in there and show her my 15 items, and I'm just gonna say, what do you think? Now, if she says it's genuine, or she believes that it is, I'm gonna see if she wants to do consignment because I think that could be a really good way to get rid of these items uh, rather than putting them up for sale on eBay and we just get cash and go again. So I'm really excited about this. Sylvia's hopefully gonna come through with some awesome news for us. Let's go and see. Hey Sylvia. Hello, how are you going? How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. We've, good we've got a few. We have, yes. We've got, have a, we got? we've got a few items. I wanted you to have a bit of a look at these. Mm -hmm. um, let me know what you think. Yep. There's a bunch of really high-end brands here. Um, that one's a Yeezy sweater. Um, some Champion. Right. This is all in a thrift store. Thrift store, I paid $230. A lot of people in the comments of this video is saying that it's not genuine. So we're here today to try and get an answer on whether or not it's so authentic. they're all experts, are they? Apparently they're all experts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even looking at the, the material quality, it's, it's yeah. Looks it's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. And that's got its tags on there as well. Tags are good. Tags are Is that what you mainly look at? Tags? Yeah, tags are one of the main, the main reasons, like stitching straight, double tags. Tags are always a good giveaway. So double stitching like that, just to end, you know, tidy up pockets and things. Yep. The fake ones don't have that sort of thing. They don't have that? No. Yeah, cool. They're just rough. Yeah. That's sweet. Um, that one's a mad happy. I think, I think it's like even the heavy, the weight of the material, you know, is this quality. Yeah. Um, tags, tags are good. There's an inner tag. Oh, good. An inner tag on that one as well. Yeah, look, they, they feel they feel great. They, I don't think, yeah, there'd be any doubt. Mm -hmm. That one though, that one's the one that gets faked a lot. That's obviously the supreme, mm -hmm. the supreme sweater. So there was some tags underneath. Yeah. Generally with embroidery, that's a, a giveaway because it's usually quite spaced and you can sort of see that it's not even. Right. This looks very even and tidy to me. Looks even. The size of the um, the letters are all the same. Yep. Yeah, I'd be leaning towards definitely genuine. Generally, if you get one out of a bunch, it's not so good. The rest are not so good. Yep. No, I think you did well. Yeah? Yeah. Unreal. Now, what about consignment? from your perspective. Sure, I'm interested. You're interested? Yeah. Unreal. I'm always interested. We can, definitely, we can definitely talk about it yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Because you always run the risk selling it on eBay, but if you're open to talking around price yeah, points. Yeah, and I'm getting a bit more of a demand for menswear, so. You're after menswear, yes. sweet. I'm happy to have a chat. Well, Thank we you. can definitely do that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well guys, that was exactly what I wanted to hear. So nice of Sylvia to have a look over those items and the fact that she's willing to go ahead and look at consignment with me gives me complete confidence that they are actually genuine items. She looked at every single one and she didn't really raise an eye at any of them. So I was really stoked about that. My question for you guys though is that should we go ahead with consignment and sell them to Sylvia uh, or should we go ahead and sell them ourselves on eBay? Let me know in the comments. 
while I'm out here guys, I think I'm going to go around to another store called Urban World. It's only just around the corner and those boys do high-end clothing and sneakers. So I think with these sorts of brands, they're going to know a thing or two as well. I'm obviously pretty confident in what Sylvia said, but I figure before heading home, I may as well roll in there and ask those boys as well. I was so shattered to see a copyright strike with the music in the background, guys. So I'm just going to do a quick voiceover here of what took place at Urban World. Um, this is Kane. He runs the shop here and uh, he was definitely very interested. A lot of the items in his store were brands like Supreme and Yeezy and Travis Scott. So he was definitely the right man to speak to here. Um, he jumped straight into it and actually pulled up some authentic um, items that I had here for him. And um, as you can see here, he's just checking over the tags. Um, both the authentic and the one that I had had a made in Honduras um, champion tag. That's not obviously a dead giveaway that it's authentic, but it's just a, a good telltale sign. Um, he also went over all of the different artwork over this particular item um, and he couldn't really see anything to be wrong with it. And uh, he actually said to me, do you want to do it on consignment? Um, and he offered me $230 if it was to sell. So. He absolutely loved this item, the Travis Scott. He reckons he could get it sold very quickly. Uh, and that's the beauty of going to these guys uh, and doing consignment deals. They've got good connections and they can sell it for you. This was the other one here as well. This was the Supreme hoodie. He was interested in Supreme because obviously it's a, a pretty popular brand. A very easily faked brand, this one. But um, obviously going through the uh, the embroidery here, we had a look over all of the, the tags as well. And he deemed this to be genuine as well. So... Um, potential for a couple of consignment deals. It was really cool to get his advice. So a big thank you to Sylvia and Kane at Urban World. Um, look, I've got a lot more confidence now in, in all of these items, to be fair. Um, Kane was great in the sense of really thoroughly checking um, you know, authentic items and, and verifying the fact that, yeah, the Supreme looked like it was genuine. There was nothing to say otherwise. Um, and then he was very interested in the Travis Scott uh, track pants and he reckons he can sell them for upwards of 300 to $350. Um, so he said that if he can do that, then I can have my money back of $230, which is what I paid on all six items. Um, so that would be awesome to be able to do that consignment deal with Kane. Um, hopefully he can find the right buyer and sell it for that price. We'll have to wait and see. But he's also held on to the Kanye sweater as well. He was just a little unsure uh, with the size guide on the back of the neckline. Um, so he's, he's sending a few photos off to a few people and he's going to try and get that confirmed. And if it is, he wants to do that one on consignment as well. I'm going to list up the Acne Studios and the Mad Happy sweater uh, on eBay. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet with the Supreme gear as much as I believe it's genuine. I'm just going to hold on to it for now and maybe look at consignment. If any of you guys out there want it, feel free to shoot me a message on, on Instagram and we can have a look at the pricing. Um, but yeah, it was just a cool experience to, to go through that process. It's a lot of work. It's the reason I don't do clothing. Um, but it's it's just something you have to do if, you, if you're going to try and sell this stuff because you don't want to burn your eBay store by selling fake items. You've got to do your due diligence. And I think that little exercise this afternoon was certainly a step in the right direction to getting these sold and profited. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. A learning experience for me and hopefully you. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you soon.